Okay, let's go ahead and begin the demonstration of the challenge activity 3.1.1 tables and spreadsheets. Uh, for my demonstrations, uh, I'm going to utilize Microsoft Excel, uh, which is a, an application in the Office 365 suite uh, that allows us to work with spreadsheets. Uh, if you look at the help or contact uh, Phoenix's technical support, you can also get this Excel free of charge as long as you are a student at the University of Phoenix. Uh, uh, discuss with any use tech support in terms of how to get it if you do not have this uh, on your PC. It's not fully required that you have it. However, just to demonstrate and to show the application of it, uh, I will be utilizing Microsoft Excel throughout week two uh, to demonstrate uh, some things that are going on. So uh, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and just simply key in these values into the spreadsheet that the problem is showing me, 3526. And I'm going to come over here to 22, 42, 19, and 18, and then 44, 27, 29, and 49. The first one says, what values in C1? The way that you identify from a spreadsheet perspective is the column first. Notice C as in Charlie matching the first letter, then the corresponding row. The intersection of those gives you the corresponding value. Notice over here inside of Excel, Notice the value of 44 is the active cell. Up here shows C1 as well as that corresponding active cell. So the answer to the first one, what's the value inside of it? I key in the value of 44, check it. We have the correct answer that's there. Okay, so the next item is, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna do 15, 20. Actually, I'm gonna clear out my values here and show how many cells actually have values. Well, two ways we could approach this. Let me go ahead and finish keying these in. 20, and then come down here, 29, 31, and 24. Notice the first column has three, the second one has three, and the third one has three. So in total, just to show this is nine, and you check it, there's nine cells. The other ones are blank. You wouldn't actually count those. However, if I come over here, and do the exact same thing. I'm holding down the left mouse button, just hovering over those guys. Notice down here at the bottom where my mouse pointer is at also shows the count as well of the amount of cells that actually have value. So uh, for Microsoft Excel, that's the way that you should show it down there uh, for that particular problem. So that's number two. Let's go to three. Let me show autocomplete here. So let's say I've got inside of a cell 22. 23 and 24. And I want to auto populate four, five, and six. Well, the sequence is they increase by one. So you would expect this one, if I add one to it, would be 25. The next one would be 26. And the third one would be 27. So obviously we got the correct answer. But if I notice if I come over here to Excel, if I hover over the left uh, or the right corner there, hold down the uh, left mouse button, notice. It should, and it didn't, auto-populate those guys there, and it didn't. So uh, let, me, let me try that again here. So let's see, 22, 23. Let's see if it picks up now. No, it didn't actually. Uh, not sure what's going on there. Uh, but the pattern there should be 25, 26, and 27 if I do a corresponding autofill. Uh, I'll report back later uh, what's going on, but it should do an autofill to fill that in. So that's what's going there. Notice these decrease by 10 each time. So from 200, it should be decreased by 10. You get 190, then 180, then 170. Let's see if it, this one actually does it here. So uh, actually, let me just, maybe there was something inside the cell, but so if I go 220, 210, 200. Let's see if this one actually, no, nope, it didn't actually decrease it. I'm surprised. So if I, let's see if I highlight that. There we go. I had to highlight it. 190, 180, 170. There we go. And on the other, I'll come back to the previous problem to show that as an example, but just check it. We're good there. Let me come back to three. Uh, just show what's going on. I had to highlight all those cells there. That's what was going on. So 13, 14, 15. Now, if I auto-populate, notice now it's going to do 16, 17, and 18. 
that's what was the underlying issue. So 16, 17, and 18. If I check it, notice again, now back on problem three, that's how it goes on. So you have to highlight the cells first and then do the corresponding autofill. So that corrected that. And we've already done four. Uh, just to show that again, uh, just as another example, if I do 230, 210, 190, if I highlight those guys, now do a drag over. Notice it decreases by 20, decreases by 20, decreases by 20. So I would have keyed in as that answer 171, 50 and 130. Check it, we're good. Okay, last one on this one. Uh, let's do the same thing again. If I do Ford 209, Ford 214, and Ford 219. Again, if I highlight those three and then drag down, notice it's gonna increase each of those by five each time, so you'll notice I'm gonna key in Ford 224, Ford 229, check the answer, and notice we've got the correct answer on problem five. This completes the demonstration of this challenge activity. Thanks.